Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla is aiming to start production of its Optimus humanoid robot in 2023. Tesla is going to make a new futuristic-looking electric vehicle as a dedicated robotaxi. Tesla's production 4680 battery cells debut at Giga Texas Cyber Rodeo. And, Tesla debuts new Model Y standard range with 4680 structural battery. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Elon Musk gave a timeline to production for the first time for the Tesla Optimus project, a humanoid robot capable of doing general tasks. The CEO believes the company can bring the ambitious project to production as soon as next year. It's an ultra-ambitious timeline even for him. When Tesla announced the Tesla bot project at its AI Day event last year, Elon Musk presented it as something the company could do by leveraging existing work and parts from the development of self-driving technology, and if they don't do it, someone else will. At the time, it certainly didn't sound like a priority for Tesla, and many saw it mainly as a recruitment tool, as the automaker is trying to boost its AI team to deliver its full self-driving system. A few months later, the project's priority level went up fast. Musk announced that Tesla is now prioritizing product development of Tesla bot, which he now calls Optimus in 2022, over some of its upcoming vehicles. The CEO appeared a lot more excited about the project and its potential to impact labor shortage and eventually the broader economy. When first announcing the project, Tesla was aiming to have a prototype of the humanoid robot ready by the end of 2022, but there was no talk of a production timeline just yet. At the Tesla Cyber Rodeo event, Musk offered a production timeline for the first, and it is surprisingly aggressive even for him. Uh, then, and of course we've got the Tesla robot, Optimus. Uh, this is, uh, I, think, I, think, I think Optimus will, will obviate what uh, it even means, what an economy even means. So uh, it'll be able to, you know, basically anything that, that uh, humans don't want to do, Optimus will do it. Um, and it's uh, it's going to be an age of abundance. And so, uh, it's I think it's 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 maybe hard to imagine it, but as you, as you see Optimus develop, um, and we're obviously going to make sure it's safe, um, no Terminator stuff or that kind of thing. Um, but it's it's really going to transform the the world. Uh, I think to a degree even greater than the cars. Um, and, and then we've got, and, and I, th I think we, we have a shot at being in, um, in, in production uh, for version one of, of Optimus, hopefully next year. This follows a ramp up in excitement from the CEO about the project over the last few months. In January, Musk said that Tesla could play a role in making artificial general intelligence a reality through the humanoid robot project. Then a few weeks later, we reported on Tesla's AI director, Andridge Carpathy, stating he believes Tesla bot is on track to become the most powerful AI development platform. It sounds like the project quickly graduated from something Tesla might as well do to a world-changing endeavor that is now a top priority at the company. Moving to the next update, Tesla is going to make a new, futuristic-looking electric vehicle as a dedicated robotaxi. Elon Musk announced that Tesla is going to build a new, futuristic-looking electric vehicle as a dedicated robotaxi, though there's no clear timeline for the new vehicle. At Tesla's Cyber Rodeo event, Gigafactory Texas was the real star of the show. CEO Elon Musk made clear that Tesla's focus in the short term and in 2022 specifically is to scale operations to increase production capacity and Giga Texas is going to be critical to make that happen. But the CEO still made sure to get people excited about upcoming new products and said that 2023 is going to be the year for new vehicles, with the Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, and new Roadster all entering production next year. Musk even announced a new vehicle at the event, a dedicated robotaxi. There's going to be a dedicated robotaxi that is going to look quite futuristic looking. He is talking about a new electric vehicle to join Tesla's lineup and be strictly used for a taxi service. 
This would be a departure from Tesla's current self-driving plan, as the company has been focused on achieving self-driving capability with the current hardware on its existing vehicles already on the road. Now Musk is talking about Tesla building a new vehicle specifically for self-driving. This has been a model adopted by other autonomous driving companies, like Zoox. It allows more freedom in the design, since the vehicle is never going to be driven by a human, so a driver's seat and controls are not required. There also have been previous talks about Tesla building a self-driving vehicle to operate in the boring company's tunnels. The company released the render scene here. Musk didn't offer a timeline on this new Tesla dedicated robotaxi, but it likely won't be a priority until the automaker can fulfill its promise to the already tens of thousands of owners who bought its full self-driving package on existing vehicles. At the event, the CEO said that Tesla is aiming for everyone in North America who bought the FSD package to get access to the beta program. Moving to the next update, Tesla debuts new Model Y standard range with 4680 structural battery. Tesla's new standard range all-wheel drive Model Y all-electric crossover with 4680 battery cells is present at the Cyber Rodeo event the automaker is holding at its new production facility in Austin, Texas. Tesla held a 15,000-person event in Austin, displaying its new manufacturing facility, where it will build its newest state-of-the-art vehicles. Among the products Tesla is showing off is the new standard range all-wheel drive, which showed up on the EPA's Fuel Economy website last month. After Teslarati uncovered documents related to the approval of two new Model Y trim levels, Tesla was planning to manufacture in the United States, the EPA added a mysterious new configuration of the crossover to its website. Unlike anything available on Tesla's website, the new Model Y had 279 miles of all-electric range. It was added to the EPA's fuel economy website after being approved by the agency, which awarded the vehicle a certificate of conformity in mid-February. In mid-March, Tesla Hacker Green indicated the new Model Y configuration, which was listed as an SR Plus or Standard Range Plus trim level, was added to a software update the automaker was rolling out. Now, Tesla Raj, who was an attendee at the Cyber Rodeo in Texas, has indicated that the Model Y at the factory fits the description of the one added to the EPA's fuel economy website last month. An online Tesla VIN decoder shows the vehicle was manufactured at the new plant in Austin and is in fact a standard range version of the Model Y. Tesla also said during its Q4 2021 earnings call that the Austin-made Model Y would pack the structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells. Moving to the last update, Tesla's production 4680 battery cells debut at Giga Texas Cyber Rodeo. Tesla's production 4680 battery cells debuted at the Giga Texas Cyber Rodeo event. According to materials posted in the Cyber Rodeo factory tour, Giga Texas is fully equipped to assemble Tesla's 4680 structural battery pack at full scale. Made at Giga Factory Texas, our new Tablas 4680 cell lowers the cost per kilowatt hour. We have everything we need under one roof to produce and assemble the first high-volume structural battery pack using our fully integrated process, stated one of Tesla's infographics in the Cyber Rodeo Factory Tour. The production-ready 4680 cells will be used in Tesla's structural battery pack. Tesla Giga Texas will build the first Model Y vehicles with a 4680 structural battery. Tesla has already equipped the Model Y standard range with a 4680 structural battery pack based on Cyber Rodeo sightings. Tesla typically starts production with the top tier variant. In Giga Texas's case, that would be the Model Y performance. Tesla already started producing Model Y vehicles at its new Austin based headquarters, but the variant Giga Texas is currently producing remains unknown. The debut of the new Model Y standard range with 4680 battery cells suggests that Tesla Gigafactory Texas may be starting production with the vehicle's base variant instead. The 4680 structural pack reduces the number of parts used in the battery and the car itself, which is beneficial to manufacturing costs. According to Tesla, the structural battery pack 
reduces the size of the pack manufacturing line by half compared to the company's previous factories. Keep in mind that the Tesla Model Y also has front mega casts and rear underbody megas casts that reduce the vehicle's parts even further. Between the Model Y mega casts and the 4680 structural battery pack, Tesla has developed a more efficient production line, which is great for pre-order holders waiting on their Model Y vehicles. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.